Let's do this live stream. <clears throat> Greetings, everyone. My name is Azoro Ice Wolf, and welcome to today, this week's art live art stream. And also, happy St. Patrick's Day to anyone wa watching out there. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And how about we get started into today's art stream? So I'll be doing three three different sketches for this stream. So let's let's dive let's dive on in. Well, first one up is one of my favorite first suitors, uh, Asai. I took a picture of his reference, and I took a picture of his reference, and I decided to figure out my well draw this. Hello, East. I love that cute thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I figured I use your. Yeah, I figured I use the sketch I use of you as the, this week's thumbnail. Anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, so, so what are you guys doing for today, for this holiday? Wait. Also, along with us, I have two other. I have two other drawings that we'll be doing. One of them is actually a very special one for one of my characters. Uh, my day's been pretty good. Just glad I get to do my. Just glad I get to do my art, and I'm just glad I get to share with people, and they and. I'm glad to see that people like it. So today's gonna be going amazing. How about you? Now we're gonna get into just to draw the name of the first sauna that I'm of the first drawing I'm doing, and that is a wild us Sai. Same here, just woke up talking to my BF. Oh, that's nice. First, I'm going to start off with the nose. <laughs> now, when doing this drawing, I was like, why not just do this as a reference? I So I found a picture of Odyssey and started drawing that as a reference. So this is what this is. First, I'm going to start off with the nose. Right there. Hmm. Huron, well, he hello, Huron. Oh, well, welcome. That's how I'm going to start right here. This is the face right here. Mm-hmm. 
I'll just start with my mouth right there. Well, okay, so now I'm going to start with the mouth. This is the lens right here. Now we're gonna go with the hair, right? Now I'm gonna try to start off with the hair. So the hair is gonna be a bit like, around, like this around here. <laughs> when I drew this, I was having a lot of fun with this. Ozzy is also one of my uh, favorite fursuiters because. Hello, John. Hello, John Iowa. Welcome to the stream. All right. So, and also, once again, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone watch, watching out there. Hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday, and hope your days are going. Hope your days going amazing. Oh, <laughs> how nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to get into the scarf, which is right here. <laughs> uh, all right, so now we, okay. I'll start off with the chest area right here. Good. Yeah. Well, last part, well, the next part I'll be getting on to is the ears. That's going to be the next part I'll be getting on to in this sketch. <laughs> oh. Ah, so means I take it you and uh, John Iowa are together. Well, congr congratulations, you two. I'm uh, gonna get into the. Uh, I know I say get to the ears first, but. Kind of finish up on the eyes that way, I won't <laughs> mess up later. Well, cool. Congra congratulations. <laughs> well, that's well, that's sweet. <laughs> well, hey, everyone's welcome. Thank you, and on your thing. Oh, thank, thank you, East. Hey, East, that was very nice of you. I one thing I do love it, like one thing I do love when I stream. I like to show people my art, and I like to make people smile. So you just you just help me quite a lot. So East, thank you so much.
Mm -hmm. Let me get on with the ear right here. All right, so we got that part right there. Now time for now time to erase. Now when creating this one, this one took me around a couple. It's Issei. Oh, Issei. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. I, all the time I'm pronouncing it East. So. Even Issei. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel so bad now. I, I didn't mean to pronounce your name wrong all this time. I thought it was East, but Issei. Got it. All right. Thanks again, Issei. Trying to pull up the uh, ref of acai that I used. <laughs> right now, like, what's going to happen right now? All I gotta do is just pull up the ref of acai that I used. Coming into the drawing pro process, uh, first thing I'm gonna start off with, yeah, I'm gonna first off with black first. Like, so one thing that honestly that are black are the eyes uh, and his eyebrows. Looks like it's up. <laughs> yeah, when doing the eyes, that's I had to like try to figure out like one how was I gonna do the eyes this big, but I want to make sure I didn't do the eyes too big. Nah. No, DW, a lot of people get, I don't pronounce it. Then my name, I even had to remind Poppy for some time. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> wait, you actually, wait, you actually managed to talk to a couple of Poppy, wait, Poppy first? Um, who? Um, I, I am a fan of a few Poppy first, like uh, Dojo Dingo, um, Telephone, and Zabu, the circle, but like, they're, uh, they're pretty good. I do remember, like, when I, Yes, yes, is there a problem with that, Danny? Okay, I just want, just want to make sure. But I, I couldn't think of what to draw, so I got a drawing from Twitter as a, re as a reference and figured to see if I could do it. Me and Steven are watching. Oh, me and Steven are watching the stream. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, that, okay, that, uh, okay, that's probably you're probably talking to him. That's why. Huh. <laughs> all right, hello. Okay. Right, for the eyes, I'm going to start with a light 
on this left side before I get into a bit darker over here. Hmm. Oh, I see his eyes are like a like a blue. Hmm. What can I do? Do I will do like a bit of shading on one side and get light on the other. Hey, glitchy. You need to do like a lighter color for yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Go for a light color in the eyes of it sometime, somewhere around here. Improvement. Awesome improvement. Oh, thank, thank you. All right, now for his nose. His nose, from the ref I'm looking at, it's like, even though it's supposed to be like a light sky blue, it's kind of giving off a tiny bit of an aqua green like look. So, I I'd probably do like maybe a light shading. What? I said nose. Okay, so so I figure for the note. Oh, boops, <laughs> boop. All right, so for the rough, I'm looking at it. Seems like his nose is like a, it's, it makes his nose look a bit aqua green. So I'll do, I'll do a light shade. One thing I could do, I could do a light shade of aqua green for going into a sky blue to give it the color of the rough I'm kind of looking at. Well, oh, his tongue, on the other hand, his tongue is a light blue, so. Oops. Oh, oh, let's see. Again, first, hmm. who is or oh, is Ruffles? Is, uh, that's why the nose is like that. All right. Well, completely under completely understand. Mm -hmm. I'll start a bit with this eye. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, yeah, the one thing I see is his giant ears. <laughs> they're so they're so big and floppy and f fluffy. <laughs> It's not gonna lie, it is kind of adorable. He's tall too for someone in his forties. <laughs> You should try drawing Ki Kaiser Blue. Okay, I can do that for next stream. All right, Ki all right Kaiser Blue is going to be another one for next stream. I. Right? Okay. Right. 
Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You go a bit of a darker blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tall. <laughs> yes, I'd say he's very tall. For someone, for someone in his 40s, the guy's like over seven feet tall. I'll send you a sheet after this. All right, sounds like a, all right, sounds like a good idea. All right, send me the rough sheet, and I'll get that done for next week. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I want this cold to go away. Ah, oh, poor Danny. Oh, poor Danny. <laughs> yep, colds are the worst. Oh. Uh, yeah. Colds are very annoying. <laughs> All right. I'll just go a little darkness on the inner part of the ears. It's now I'm trying to get into the other part of the eye. So far, I got almost everything that is um, up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, right. the bottom part of his mouth is. Okay, now the bottom part of his mouth is black and purple. Now, the thing with say his fur is like an arrangement of other colors. <laughs> Make sure I get the purple in the right spots. <laughs> like I said, it takes a lot of skill and dedication to have a fur suit and have.
and had that many like colors arranged onto said fursuit. <laughs> but I got mean, to his the design on his suit is amazing. <laughs> it still amazes me how a, a guy who's at least over seven feet tall could have a the fact that this guy's over seven feet tall amazes me. And thank and again, you say thank thank you for saying it looks adorable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm begging. I'm begging for spring. <laughs> uh, well, where I am at, I think spring already started. <laughs> yeah, I think, so yeah, spring kind of already started in uh, North Carolina, I believe. <laughs> no, spring has. That's why I said I believe. I, I didn't mean, I wasn't sure yet. Well, apparently spring has not started in Sharktown. Oh, one more week of winter. Fairly sunny outside. But, um, yeah, I live in New Zealand. Ah. No, seriously, with the weather, with the weather out here in North Carolina, it's like it feels like it's spring already. It also starts somewhere around after St. Patrick's Day. Ah, all right then. So we still got some time of spring left. Okay. I'm gonna see what sure I got. Oops. Well, I'm trying to get into the ears. Those big fluffy purple ears. <laughs> I'll shade in the white part of the fluff in his ears and like that part taken care of. Uh, 
right, now time to a you know, light shade on the cheek right there. <laughs> he has a lot of colors on this on his fur. He really does. say one step I had a cringe watch all the single <laughs> don't <laughs> Remind me of that video. Oh my god, that was that was the cringiest thing in the furry fandom. I was like, like one of my friends almost played this song. So I was like, oh heck no. I was like, if you do not turn that mess off. All the sound <laughs> God, I almost just choked right there. <sighs> oh my goodness, all the single furries, my God, what the heck? Okay, let's see. Yeah, so all the single furries is the most cringiest thing of the furry fandom. <laughs> I just randomly joined a Discord channel and they played that next. And you know, I gave them a. Then you know, I gave them ear cancer. <laughs> Hmm. I gotta be gotta say the one thing I am gonna find difficult with this outside you drawing is his scarf. Now with his scarf, the way his the pattern is on his scarf is completely like different. Like usually I do a scarf like I just draw the lines of the colors I want. I'm working on this here right now. You can always check out at the WIP on Free Amino. Call Ben. Really? Look, so either sometimes I call it, sometimes I call it bandanas, other times I call it scars, okay? Yes, I know that. Mm 
sure what side you want to know this trick. All right, the difficult part would be the bandana. Oh, dang it. Oh. I'm in difficulty in my purple right now. Okay, now we're getting on to shoulder right here. I'm thinking of picking up a DS light. They're pretty cheap now. I saw one for about 28 bucks. Hmm. Well, I think mean, that does sound like a good idea. Just kidding. Oh, that being such a oh, okay then. Well, you, I guess you just being a pain right now. I uh. The stream was cutting out several times before. Odd. Ah, ah, dang it. Nice. Oh, certainly for a few others, their sides are fine. Uh, his uh, the upper part of the eyes, it seems like you get know, kind of like a maroon uh, or a mahogany color. So, and so let me get that done for the eyes. Get you know, a little nice touch of mahogany. Oh. 
Okay. What's it mean us? Say. Hi, <laughs> Glitchy. Let me guess, he pronounced it a sigh or something. A Kai. No, a, 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 a Kai. He pronounced it a Kai. So, yeah, the pattern with us say he's a scarf or bandana if you want to be that if you want to be that kind of person. But the, idea, but the design was I'll say he's bandana. It's like it's like something thing like uh, but like just like it goes in like a pattern. Damn it. I don't know how to hmm. I'll do a little light shading on the ears. I got a tiny bit of gray in some parts of the area. Scarf next.
And now it's time to get him a scarf. The scarf is like black and blue. Go ahead. Right. I mean, his scarf is a bit uh, different, difficult to work with because, like, because it has a very distinct pattern. Dear gosh, great for shading. Ay, ay, ay. You, you said shading with a pencil's the mistake. I didn't use a pencil. Damn, damn it. Damn it. Wrong color. Hello, Jake. Uh, I'm, the only reason I'm using a pencil for the scarf is because I don't have a black crayon. It's the only thing close. It's the only thing close to black I have. That's what I said. I said killer. Hi, Tinkerbell. Yes, color pencils. And I don't have a black color pencil. Pencil's the only thing I could probably use. And also and also thank you, Jack Bla Black Bla Bla Lock. Jake Blalock. All right. Thank thank you, Jake. How are you on this day? I'm doing pretty good. And also, happy, and also, once again, to everyone watching, happy St. Patrick's Day. And I hope your day is going great. Have you tried making shading effects like using darker shades of color? Uh, yes, I have. I had done that with some of my other drawings and stuff like sometimes or at times what I'll do is I'll either go like lighter shade and I either go lightly first and then go to a darker shade uh, later on. That's what I'll usually do. I told them about shading effect before. Like, like if you drew it with a blue, you use a darker shade of and the color getting covered up by a shadow. Yes, I, I have been working on that. Other, other times I'll use a different color altogether. Right, so per se, like if I go save, if I use like a light blue, then, then I come back with like a dark blue to kind of give it that shading kind of effect. Or I just, like, for example, for the eyes, I used dark blue on one part. And then I went back with a sky blue on another part of the eye.
Tim was practicing drawing. Oh, well, yes. Anatomy is like one of the most difficult parts of, of art. It really is. So I use tan mahogany, and I'll go back again with purple. I'm his teacher. I taught him many tips on ways to bring out his art more. Yeah, yes, he has been teaching me quite a lot. All right, I'm gonna do one last go over on. I'll say so. Making sure I have color this correctly right here. Okay. Proportions are tough. At times, yes, they can be. Okay, first, okay, first I'll show you what I got. Okay, first I'll show you what I got, like right here, and then the reference picture. Mm -hmm. And you probably can't really see much of the reference since low quality. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. All these perfect in reference. Why? Why? Thank you. <laughs> now, onward to the next drawing. <laughs> now, this one is a special one dedicated to one of my other first saunas, Avalanche, since. This day, this day I can do my first time at Avalanche since today is Avalanche's birthday. <laughs> Yet Avalanche was born on St. Patrick's Day. I figured I'd do a drawing for my first sauna here. Sunday, same as my mother's birthday. <laughs> you know, Danny's mom's birthday is on uh, St. Patrick's Day as well. So I'm going to start with the letters. I'm going to get into the letters here. The fur is hard to draw in a rush. I could actually spend a whole day trying to touch with the look of it. Huh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to color in with 
colored pencils. For, for it does take time. I remember when I first started drawing with first started with drawing fur, I wasn't given much attention to until I noticed I need to make some mistakes with it. Right, I I kinda went through the same thing when it came to like the fur like trying to get the fur done for my first saunas. And trying to get the right one to go with or trying to get like the right like design or texture of it. That was kind of difficult for me. Let's see. When I do the fur, it's just kind of different. Oops. Hello, Q Ninja Cat Gaming. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the stream and happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, wait, so how's everyone spending their St. Patrick's Day? Who's St. Patrick's Day is a, is a holiday for those who celebrate it, so. Well, mine's going good. Well, that, well, that's, well that's amazing. You know, some of our mine's going pretty good, too. It's also, it's also pretty fun for many people of Irish descent, like like I am. <laughs> but I gotta say is for those who for celebrating St. Patrick's Day, just stay safe and don't get too drunk. <laughs> I uh
Oh my god, I hope no one noticed that other mistake I made. Oh my god, I hope no one I hope no one noticed that. Hi. You know, having a cold sucks. It really does. Uh huh. To stop, I see what you were working on, and to say hi. All right, well, thank you for coming along, uh, uh, Tinkabella. Hold on, just. So. <laughs> okay, so can, all right, no one's on the mistake. Okay, no one's on the mistake. Done. Now I'm trying to work on the hat. I'm gonna get that thing out, get the hair right here. Let's see. I just had a cold two days ago, and what's so bad that I can keep anything down. Ah, poor guy. Sometimes some colds can't be like that.
that right there. This now I get the mouse. the snowflake that's on his chest. Uh, what made you want to be a furry? Um, well, I, I first uh, heard of it was through my friend Danny here. I, that's when I first uh, heard about the furry fandom. Uh, that's when I was like, oh, this sounds pretty interesting. Uh, then... I did a bit of searching on YouTube. I saw looked up uh, for YouTubers. Uh, one of them that appeared was uh, Zabu the Circle. That's one of my favorite ones. And he, um, they, his videos are pretty funny and awesome. And I mean, I'm like, whoa, this, this seems, and then what he was talking about, I was like, this makes a furry fandom sound really pretty awesome. So and then I, Came across a few other new furries like Telephone and uh, Dodo Dingo. And that's when I made the choice that I finally wanted to be a furry. Because, but mainly Zabu was like one of my uh, inspirations. And if it wasn't for Zabu Circle and all that, Zabu Circle, Dojo, and Telephone wasn't for those three, I probably would not have been a furry in the first place. So that's how, and that's when I made the choice that I wanted to be a furry. So, yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> then that's when I started watching a bunch of other uh, furries, <laughs> like Mark Sparks and uh, Majira. <laughs> that's when I got really in into it, so. <laughs> that's when I... Oh. Well, before I did a furry art, I also I used to do Pokemon. I would draw Pokemon, that's... One of the main things I did do most of my art on, <laughs> but then I then I have my friend Danny teach me about how I draw furry art, like as you see right now, so that way I could create my own personas and everything. Now I'll start off with his hair. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of a touch-up right here. Yeah. 
All right. Okay, so now we are getting down into erasing. So. And get my ref up. And I'm trying to get my ref up. Trying to get Now, turning into Avalanche's fur design, you know, when I created Avalanche, I was going through, like, what color should I make this guy's fur? Like, that was, like, the hardest, um, what was the hardest thing I thought of when I create, when I decided to create Avalanche, that, kind of the hardest thing for me, because, like, I was like, what should I make his fur color? I mean, his name's Avalanche, so I... I would want to make him white, but I was like, something told me I also want him his fur to also be black. So for Avalanche, his fur is like half black, half white. So now we're getting the fur right here.
Mutes. Antony, okay, so, okay, so his fur is like half black, half white. Now you're probably wondering, what made you think of this? Like, when I thought avalanches are fur, it, it's like I couldn't think of what color to go with. And that was like my most uh, difficult thing when I was in the process of creating him. Then in the end, I decided to go half black, half white. You know, you're probably thinking the color scheme for Avalanche is a bit different, like, because since I made it half black, I had to do, like, some things, like, opposite, and, like, for his uh, black first side, I made it his eyes, like, like, I made his eyebrows for his black side white, and for his eyebrow on his black, on his white side black. <laughs> I better just do, like, a little reversal, kind of like that in a way. <laughs> One thing I do need is, uh, uh, sure, uh, I'd like to see progress on Glitchy. All right, so go, go right ahead. I'd, I'd love to see this.
Oh, so sure. Uh, I, w- I want to see how glitchy he's going. Hello. So for the hat, I figured I'd make it. And so for everyone's birthday hat, I figured I would make it green and gold just to to see, just just to celebrate, like just somebody the St. Patrick's Day, which is uh, what Avalanche's birthday is on. So I figured why not have his um. Whole thing be like kind of St. Patrick's Day things. All right. Uh, do you want to call in a bit too? Yes. All right. So here is. Um. Well, here is the progress my friend made on Glitchy, as you can see right here. I mean, it's kind of self advertising, but okay. Yeah. One thing I hate when I do pencil. One thing I hate about when drawing with uh, pencil is like when there are some parts that's supposed to be white and like the bl- and like the blackness of a pencil kind of like grays over it. That's one thing I that just. I, Uh, surreal. It's surrealism. What?
All right. And so now, getting on to the All right, so now we're getting into the hair design, which okay, the design of the hair is uh, I worked on here. Now for his right side, or so it's the part that has his white fur, his eye is actually red. You know, his eyes are both red, and I'm going to add a tiny bit of gray, like a silverish look, because that's what his eyes are. They're both red and silver. <laughs> I'll go with a lighter color on the bottom. Um, um, 
Now, let's see, can I do one last go over for? You know, I got like the bottom part of the yellow of the um letters gold. That's where I'm gonna go. So here. Now we're almost done. I'm going to be on to the next and final drawing of the stream within just a, in just a few minutes. And done. And we are finished with the second drawing. This is this is for my persona avalanche because today is his birthday. So as he was wearing St. Patrick's Day, so how we give a big happy birthday to my persona avalanche? And I got the thing every I got parts of it St. Patrick's Day theme, like green and gold, so. Mm -hmm. 
Since that's when he was born. And now for the final part. This one took me a while since I could not find the right design for a werehog until now. This one took me a while to go through. I managed to finally get a design for a werehogs right now. So far, it's just like the head. I did not really get one for the body, but eventually I will. But so far, I just got like a headshot of the design I'm doing for werehogs. All right, uh, who all is still here? Okay, now we're gonna get into the mouth right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, right, uh, so anyway, uh, Danny, uh, my, I get a so I'm gonna finally get a design for werehogs, uh, but mainly just a headshot. That's, uh, I couldn't really get anything else. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'll get into the quills. Turn it, just let the ink relax for a minute, and then we'll get on to it. Now let me let the ink let the ink rest, and now time to erase. started. <laughs> oh, sir, what just happened? I had to take it. Or just message me through Hangouts. But anyway, as I was trying to, anyway, as I was trying to tell you, I finally got design. I finally got head design for Werehogs done. <laughs> And that. <sighs> I don't want to sort of free cookies as he said.
Uh, hold on, just let me uh, empty my pencil sharpener real quick. Shoot, shoot. I said shoot. I said shoot. No, you didn't. I said shoot. No, I, no, I didn't. No, I no, I didn't. God, I did not say it. God. I'm sorry for that mix up, folks. Uh, apparently, my friend here misinterpreted me when I accidentally hit my knee on the thing. Uh, sorry about the misinterpretation, uh, folks. My friend mis misheard me after I accidentally hit my knee. I said, shoot, I didn't say the other one. He did, he did miss, hear me. Ig, 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 people ignore him. I did not say it. I just I hit I hit my knee and I said shoot. I didn't say the other one. I'm telling the truth. All I did when I came back, I accidentally hit my knee and I said, shoot. I'm telling the truth, everyone. Everyone else, I am telling the truth. I said, shoot, when I hit my knee. I did not say the other one. Zero. Uh, hi, Glitchy. For those of you who don't know, Glitchy, the nickname Glitchy gives me is Zero. Oh, anyway, yeah, sorry for I am very sorry everyone for that misinterpretation earlier. <laughs> but anyway, um how's how's everyone's day going and everyone's St. Patrick's Day going so far? <laughs> Don't listen to my 
of friends at the moment. They were a bit misheard, but I mean, I'm almost got the design of this uh, almost done. Danny, shut up. I did not say that. Hmm. Let's see. I could rep you see after this, I could need a new moderator. Exactly. Fine, I will not get a new moderator. Anyway, people, that just next time, just make sure you just uh, listen closely and just in case you hear any slight misunderstanding, for, that way we won't have a mistake like we just had right now at the moment. So I am so sorry, everyone. And of course, you're here. Dislike? Who just likes me? <laughs> Doing this thing. Mr. Busco. Oh, well, he hello there. Well, we apparently, can't. well, I'm almost uh, done with this drawing, and then one thing I will go, I'll review over the other two drawings I did for this stream, and then I could have the rest, I could have the next 15 minutes of the stream be a Q&A kind of way, since not really much let's do, since I don't do requests during midstream. Anyway, good, well, glad you could join us at the moment. In the mouth, it's like a. And his mouth has a, for my first, well, this is what Azuro really looks like. As you've seen some of his other forms. You should definitely work on a good profile pic and a banner for your YouTube channel. I am actually getting a profile pic worked on. I really, I actually am. So I would have that up. So until I can get that done, I'm kind of with the one I currently have now. <laughs> And just whiten up the uh, the eyes a bit. 
That's really good to hear. Well, thank you. Hey, Mr. Busco. Why why does the name Mr. why does the name sound familiar? But anyway. Are you, are you assuming my gent? Ay <laughs> ay. And it was Let's go with the reddish orange for this one since my red's kind of like not really acting right. I do need a new red. At eventually, I, eventually, I will get like a new like red colored pencil. Since mine's kind of like running short, since I'm running short a bit. <laughs> I know that, let's see. And I'm finally done with the new Warehog design for Azuro. Finally done. Hey. Trying to create, trying to get this new design, trying to find the design for my Warehog head was probably the most difficult one. Anyway, I guess. All right, n now it's time to do a backtrack. Now it's time to backtrack on the drawings of this stream I've done. Okay, first one that was done was Asai, that is, which was taken from a reference of a picture I did on Twitter. Then we then we gave a big happy. Then it was Avalanche, since t today is my first time on Avalanche's birthday, since he was born on St. Patrick's Day. So how about, how about we give out 
Why don't we give this drawing a, a good happy, a great big happy birthday? And finally, we finally got the look for Azuro. Since, since you've seen Azuro in his other two forms, like his um, wolf form and his Sergal form, but this is actually Azuro's real form. He's actually a werehog. And finally, we got that done. But in the meantime, So in the meantime, the rest of the stream, the next 15 minutes of the stream will be Q&A. So feel free to ask me some questions if, if you have any. Ooh. I almost forgot the detail right there. <laughs> For my question for the stream is which drawing would you say was the best out of all the out of the three drawings I've done, which one would you say is your favorite? All right, Danny says his favorite was Asai. <laughs> All right. All right, here I'll show you. I'll show you the three drawing. I'll show you the three drawings one more time, and we're gonna. I want to see what your guys' favorites were. So, here's drawing number one, Asai. Drawing number two, Avalanche. Uh, I think I did for Avalanche's birthday since it's today, and finally. Azura. So for everyone else in the chat, which one which of the three would you say would was your best? Or the one that you like the most? So we got all right, so Danny in chat says Atai was his favorite, so Oh, shut up. I, uh... <laughs> I want to be you. Uh, um, I'll, um, uh, okay. Oh, well, thank you, Hood Def. Um, Wow, that took quite a that took quite a dark turn there. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that I don't even know what to say right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, but to everyone else, this Q and the yeah. anyone else, the rest of the art stream is Q and A. So if you guys have any questions about either either the art or anything about the first 
fandom or any or questions about anything, feel feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I will, and I will gladly and fully answer to the best of my ability. Oh, hey, crazy kitty. Well, glad glad you're here. Um, well, welcome to the stream. We I just recently finished the uh, the three art drawings that I did for the stream. So pretty much the rest right now is Q and A. So feel free to ask questions. But I'll but since you my friend is with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any favorite foods? Out of all your favorite fursuiters, who is your number one idol? Oh, that's a. I mean, I mean, you can't. Can I? Can I have more than? Can I just have? I know, like it's number one. Can I at least have more than just one number one? But if not, I'd have to say Zabu, either Zabu or Telephone. Yeah, for my number one, I, it, it, it has to be either one of those three, Zabu, Dojo, or Telephone. I, I have to pick – those are probably, like, who I think, but I can't – it's hard to choose which one, though. What if I had no choice, I'd probably definitely go with Zabu the Circle. That's probably one I'd have to go with. <laughs> But I mean, Zabu's pretty cool. Jojo, <laughs> funny, awesome, and Telephone. She's just flat out adorable. <laughs> Fa okay, my favorite color. Um, <laughs> okay, my. Favorite, okay, but originally my favorite color was blue, but actually my favorite color, but it used to be, my, I mean, still kind of is to this day, but my favorite color is actually purple. So yes, purple is my favorite color. Slow the heck down. Why'd you, why'd you smack Ashton? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know why you smacked you, Ashton. I don't know. But yeah, that's my answer. My favorite color is purple. <laughs> I did say RP was allowed, so hey. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, crazy. Anyway. Anyway, Crazy Kitty, I'll just go over the um, drawings I did for you. So we got As Asai, Avalanche, and he's wearing a leprechaun hat and a birthday hat with the St. Patrick's Day colored theme. So what I did, and finally, Azuro, getting a werehog, finding a werehog design, head design was, again, my worst, like, it wasn't like my worst thing, but finding a werehog design from the head was um it was difficult but i have to say it was very difficult to find a design to use so here's what i got so crazy kitty out of all the ones you just saw which one which of the three were your favorite uh oh well, there and there goes ashton <laughs> oh poor guy <laughs> all right so for anyone else, do we have any more questions? What a sad set. Wow, oh my goodness. Uh any other any other questions? But <laughs> oh my goodness. I think you were supposed to hear that, Ashton. All right, uh, onward to the next question. Oh my goodness.
Okay, I was about to say. Hey guys, YouTube's been kind of messing up a bit with their with their streaming. I mean, they're having a couple other YouTubers who've been dealing with this at the moment, with dealing with um, kind of like the streams, kind of like buffering and all that. I don't know why that's going on. It's at, oh, it's internet connection. Okay, never mind then. Uh, Okay, uh, let's get on. Uh, playing speed is probably not fast. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, how about we get some more questions in for a anyone else watching at the moment? Unless, unless they're. Uh, I think the connection must have went out for them. If you had a fursuit and you had one chance to meet your favorite fursuiter, which one would it be and what and and where what can and which convention would it be at? Uh let's see. If I had a fursuit and I had one chance to meet my favorite fursuiter. Look. I mean, I have so many favorite fursuiters I do want to see. I, it's like I can't just choose one. But, okay. I, I'd say Anthrocon for the convention. And my favorite fursuiter I want to meet, uh, Telephone. But if it was somewhere like Midwest, like Midwest Fur Fest, it would probably be either Diesel Raccoon or Zabba the Circle. That, those, are, those are my choice. Those are my choices. <laughs> Depending on the the convention I'm at. <laughs> all right, let's all right, let's get some more questions in before we. All right, let's let's see if we can get some more questions in before we sign off. Do you like wow? Do you like waffles? Yes, I do like waffles, but I like waffles, but at times I prefer pancakes more than waffles. <laughs> Hi, glitchy. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do with you? <laughs> yeah, pancakes all the way. <laughs> All right, let's all right, let's all right, let's see what the next question is. And for everyone for everyone else in the chat, just also happy St. Patrick's Day. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will answer them to the best of my abilities.
what really got you interested in the fandom exactly? You weren't really clear. Like, I did specify this earlier. What? What really got me interested in the furry fandom? I mean, even though I kind of said this earlier, but I guess since it, my association wasn't really clear to some people, I mean, what got me interested is, um, <laughs> I guess, like meeting, going to new places, probably meeting new people, and and if I you get to dress up in like a animal costume, like I mean, that is pretty cool and. I guess a way to bring out your inner child since, since, um, I like when you grow up, it's like things aren't really fun anymore. You wish you can go back to being a kid. So I feel like the furry fandom is what brings out people's uh, inner child in a way. So that's one thing that really caught my interest. Just like probably wanting the feeling of being a kid again. Like, I mean, I'm 18. Years old as we speak, and and I just and I'm now recently became an adult. It just feels different. I mean, now I'm I, I have to learn to be on my own eventually. And <laughs> but still, furry fandom. If I ever have enough money to get my own fur suit and all that, I will definitely go to a con and just have the best time of my life. And Gucci, thank you for eating pancakes while I was explaining. At least, at least save some. Don't devour all of it. Just save some for the save some for the rest of us. <laughs> wow, glitchy! Just wow. <laughs> okay, anyone? Okay. Can we get more? Can, all right, all right, Danny. Let's see if we can get some other questions from besides Glitchy and Ashton. All right, anyone, anyone else on your side? I would have some on my side, but that mean that I'd have to speak for my characters as well. Hey, it's not. Well, I know that the chat's not dead, just maybe people just haven't really thought of a question yet. Or sometimes if you want to ask a question, it takes time, Danny. So it's not like. Okay, Danny, just. Let's just. Danny, just ask another question, please. I don't know. Uh, maybe, um, maybe some of events. I, uh, <laughs> well, Dane, let's see if one of your other characters wants to ask a question, please. A and he dirt. <laughs> Ah, crap. I just dropped my charger. It's, all right, so I'm all right, glitchy bonk him on the head. Your fist. What else can you bonk him with? I'm saying that don't. I'm saying that glitchy don't even answer that question. Oh, 
go with, okay, go with glitchy. Go with that. Go go with that. Because seriously, like he dirts when I was trying to get some more quests, trying to get some more questions from your guys' side. So go with the flower pot. No. Thank you, Glitchy. Because you got loads of characters, you got loads of other characters. Thanks. Like, seriously, we could get some more questions in. Hey, Maxwell. All right, so what's your question? All right, well, Maxwell's here and is copying. Hi, Glitchy. All right, Maxwell, what's your question? Maxwell, your question. Okay. If you were only able to have one first suit of your of one of your personas, which would it be? Uh, well, I'd have to go with my main one, Azuro, like since he's my main persona, and I'd have to go with him. So, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it would suck that I couldn't have any other first suit of my other personas. I mean, it probably would look cool to have a persona of. A first suit of Voltra or um, or uh, Frost. I mean, it would be cool to have those other first suits, but is there also, since Azura is my main first one, I have to go with him. Oh, 
Ah, yeah, hey, Shade. And so we got Shade in the building. All right, well, welcome, Shade. I, I, I think you might. Something tells me that you might have a question, too. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, I know, I know, Maxwell. A time Shade can be a bit iffy. But hey, let's see what question he has. And Shade, I swear, if it's a, and I swear, if it's. All right, Shade, come back. The question is, if you could be any other persona in real life, which one would you be? Um, I would say either Vulture or Avalanche. I I think I'd rather be those guys. Because <laughs> if I was Vulture, then I'd have cool electric powers and a cool looking haircut. <laughs> If I was Avalanche, so I mean, I'd have to deal with half my fur being half black, half white, which I don't really mind. A very long pony. You know, well, Avalanche, I, Avalanche doesn't really have a ponytail. His hair is like more like spike down. But Voltra, I mean, he could make his in. Oh, Voltra. Um, his is, I mean, his is more like the peaky, yeah, is more like the mighty Anna Harris style with the going down to his, going down his back and all the way to where his tail is. That's kind of like his, but I guess but at times he can have the option to put it in a ponytail. If he wanted to, that is. I'm not gonna lie, that would be cool to have like a long ponytail. <laughs> I mean, I could do the same with my hair right now. So I guess it wouldn't be any different. <laughs> we got ample, so we got ample enough time for a few more, for some more questions. <laughs> Well, yeah, pretty much that's how I'll go about it. either Vulture or Avalanche. They're my main ones. <laughs> Francis runs in. Then. No, no, Francis, you're no, Francis, you're right on time. I mean, uh, the rest of the stream is pretty much a Q and A since I did finish the three main drawings. But as you see, you can see one of them right now on screen. Uh, may, all right, next next time, Francis. Well, all right, there will be another stream next Saturday. That's when I usually do my streams. Plus, I don't even know why you guys weren't here at the beginning. I did say uh, you got, well, I did say you guys were allowed to, or you guys were invited, so. What is your least favorite poppy fur? Oh my, that that's a hard one. My <laughs> least favorite. Mm. That that's kind of a difficult one to answer right there. 
I don't I don't think I even have a least favorite. But um Ooh, that's going to be complete. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Having at least my least favorite popular fur. Um, hi. I mean, it's, it's hard to choose. It's, it's, okay. My least favorite. Ooh, that's. Uh, hey, Kennedy. Oh, welcome to the stream. I mean, well, welcome to the Q and A uh, section of the stream since the main three drawings were completed. Um, uh, God, I, I can't. It's like hard to choose my least favorite poppy fur. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, Kennedy, what's your question? But, uh, okay, I know Danny might get mad at me, but I am not a big fan of Odin Wolf. I am sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't really watch his content that much, so sorry, not really a big f fan. So I am so sorry about that, Danny. <laughs> All right, anyway, Kennedy, what's your question? Why don't you shade it? Why don't you shade? It will help. Uh, I actually do shade on my um. I actually do shade on my drawings, as you see. I could sh show you a few uh, that I have done shading in. In what? There's one of the recent ones I do. I, I mean, I have done some shading. And damn it, dang it, Danny, shoot! Let's. Sometimes shading is not really. I mean, shading can be uh, a bit difficult depending on the color. So that's um, that's still it's still a work in progress. It's still a work in progress. Hey, uh. But yeah, my least favorite popular fur would have to be Odin Wolf. I mean. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can ask a few more, so feel free to ask in the time being. Well, we got loads of time for the stream. Is uh, Gucci? We're still asking questions here. I mean, if you're trying to say I'm boring, then I'm just saying, geez. Question: Why am I so bored? That's a legitimate question, Glitchy. It's almost, if you're trying to say I'm boring, then that's kind of like going a bit too far and going over the line. What the heck did Winter say? Oh, that's right. You're call. You're on a call with him. That's why you didn't call during the stream. Okay. That's fine, Winter. Since you're still here, why don't, why don't you ask a question if you have one?
Winter, if you're here, huh, why don't you ask a question? All right. Danny, do any of your other characters have a question? We got loads of time, so Dan Danny, um, we still got you still got a lot more characters if you if they have questions. I do have one. When did you want to become a chef, or how did you find out you wanted to make a career out of cooking? Huh. Okay. Um. Well, I decided. Well, I figured. I learned about cooking at a young age. Um. When I used to watch um, cooking shows with my grandmother. She and there would be times where I would help her out, like in the kitchen. Plus, she did. Plus. During Christmas time, she would always make these amazing cookies, and that's why I wanted to help her out, and I enjoyed it. Unfortunately, uh, I wish I wanted to learn more from her, but fortunately, she passed away before before I could even want to pursue her, and I kind of wanted to give up. But no, I chose not to give up, and I wanted to make a career out of it since that's one thing I did love, and that's one thing she always taught. That's one thing I didn't enjoy. So that's when I decided I want to be a chef. Like I went and took some um, culinary courses at the at my school, and that's when I wanted to become a chef, and that's how I got to where I am now. Take some time out. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry about that, Kennedy. Um, my monitor just wanted to check, make sure you weren't like a spammer or like one of those guys who were just trying to get a quick joke out of something. So sorry that that I was interpreted. So sorry about your sorry about you getting put time out like that. Anyway, we can. I guess we can get a few more questions in before I end the stream. So, if anyone has one for you, can feel free to ask me. Kenny, that's because you keep typing messages that are off topic. Uh, Well, he did. It is about my art, Steven, so he's not being off topic. Well, they did say it's anything, so he's not off topic or anything, so just leave him be.
yes, I still am beginning. So my art is pretty much just basically a work in progress. Uh, your Heidi one was a bit, came off a bit on the dark side, Kennedy. That's kind of why he did that. <laughs> Uh, sure, um, guys, I'm I'm blocking. Right, but I, even though I do appreciate the uh, help, Kennedy, um, Danny's pretty much my my teacher in a way. So he's the one who's been actually able to help me with my art, and that's why mine's been kind of been a work in progress. Although we do, although I do appreciate the efforts that you went to go there. Let's, I appreciate the offer. Let's, I have Danny teaching me, so. Mm, uh, can we get a call? I think we can get a couple more questions before we. Well, okay, Danny, you might, you know, he's got a point there, so. I, uh, if this is going to lead into a big argument, I could just cancel it a bit early. But yes, Kennedy, Danny's an experienced artist, and he's the one who's been teaching me for quite a while. Hi. Fine. Can can we just get some more? Can we just get a few more questions for before I end the stream, please?
<laughs> what got you into drawing? Um, oh, Chase, Chase. Uh, what is your favorite species? Um, my favorite species is actually wolves. Okay. Um, since I do like canines, then dogs are one of my favorite animals. <laughs> that's what... Yeah. So that's my favorite species. Uh, what got me into drawing? Um, well, pretty much Danny did. Uh, <laughs> I got amazed with some of his artwork, so that's kind of like... That's kind of why I wanted to be an artist. Then I wanted to learn how to draw Pokemon at first. Of the, and this was before I actually got into drawing furries. So, wow, small world. <laughs> it is a very, very small world when it comes to that. So, that pretty much got me into drawing. I want, I mainly drew Pokemon, but then I got into drawing furries. And yeah, that's how it happened over time. I think we can get probably what five more questions. Five, yeah, five more questions. Then I'll call the then I'll call the stream off. Okay, to get out of here, or oh, no. English. Okay, Rico, there's a rule English preference only. And plus, we fixed your Spanish last like several chapters ago. How are you? And what do you like to do in the fandom during your spare time? Um, oh, okay. What do you like to do in the fandom during your spare time? I mean, uh, other than drawing the, uh, other than drawing my art, I guess. Uh, um, I mean, looking at, I guess, looking at her YouTube videos. <laughs> That's probably one of them. I know that. I know that sounds kind of weird. I know that sounds like kind of like a bit morbid, but that's kind of what I do in my extra time. Either that, or I make uh, videos on my own, since I am a YouTuber after all. I'll go moth. Translation. I I know he said something more. He said anything else? Um, well, pretty much it. The, other than just make my own YouTube videos, like I like I usually do. <laughs> also, why is he still speaking Spanish when we fix that? Then, then nada. And I think I just broke my and I just broke my own rule. Yeah. 
sorry. In real life, he only speaks Spanish. Wow. Okay, then. That explains a lot. Well, can we at least get the worst moderator ever? For good, for God's sake, stop! Stop the person help you for helping cooperating. This is truly trash, and the stream where it's good, but mod is. Uh, I, I. Um, one last question before. Okay, let's get a, okay, two more questions. Let's get two more questions and then we'll get the stream to a close. Okay. In the meantime, do you want to ask the question, Danny? Uh, all right. Well, Winter, let's, let's hear your question. Then we'll then we'll um I'll call put the stream out of close. Winter, we're waiting on you. Okay. It says the guy rushes people. <laughs> and yet, and you just said patience is a verse to not like ten seconds ago. Yep, and that's called him. And well, 
So does he not? And I'm guessing he doesn't have a question. Now he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's how I this you know that's ironic. You say patience is a virtue, but all of a sudden, t- like 10, 20 seconds later, you're like, "Oh my god, he's going so slow." <laughs> but then again, eh. yeah. Um, hey, okay, I guess that could wrap it up for this stream. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, so much for watching, and I will be posting my art later. I will be posting my art after this stream, and okay, I'll hold on. I mean, I just don't want to be sitting here in dead silence, like, not like just not knowing what to say, so. Favorite subject in school was science. I lo- I like science a lot, so that was one of my favorite subject in school. Anyway, that's the last that's the last question of the stream. So thank you guys. Or let's just wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for wa- watching this stream, everyone. I'm so glad you guys could come along and watch me sketch out the art that I've done. I will be posting this later on, so make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and for Affinity, which will be in the links in the description down down below. And thank you. All right, and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell. So that way you get notifications when I will do my next video and when I will do my next live stream. Usually I do my live streams um. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Saturday. So make sure you guys hit the bell so you guys know when t- my next one is. I'll again follow me on social media. That way you guys can go over the art I've done in my previous streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Azoro Icewolf, and you just got iced. Peace and have a great day. <laughs>